Gundam fans, and welcome back to an, to another Gundam series. This is going to be Twilight Access. These are broken down, I believe, into six episode, three minute series. So, literally, I'm going to do them all in a single video. Um, I still, I, I'm just coming off the Thunderbolt. So, literally, I just finished watching that. So, most of you wondering, you got the same shirt, you got the same background, everything's the same. Literally, I'm just, I just got in watching it and got up just long enough to go do a couple things. And,. I'm back to watch this series since it's only 26 minutes, I think, total, or 30 minutes total, since there's only three minutes per six episode. I don't know. Anyway, though, if you're liking my videos and you want to continue watching them, I don't know much about this series, but I have a feeling it's a continuation from Thunderbolt. So let's go ahead and get into this one. Hit that Again, hit that like, subscribe, leave a comment, share with your friends or family, and let's go ahead and get into this one. It looks like it's Char and Lala. It's a Gundam. Again, it's Char. I guess I should have watched the Origins before this, so if you're seeing this, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what's gonna when this takes place. And who it is? So uh, this is uh, so this looks like it's taking place after the actress was destroyed. Okay, that's making some sense now, but we have a Gundam that's not the RX-78-2, nor is it the normal Gundam, or the Gundam from Thunderbolt, or any of the RX-79s. What is this Gundam? At least it doesn't look familiar. Yeah, it does not look like any of them. Well, the 79Gs and then the other one that came out. I take it Char's probably gone missing by this point. Oh, there's a Saza B. Okay. That was episode one. That wasn't a lot to be shown, but let's go and get into episode two. This is the start of episode two. Let me just swap over here. Sorry, me and my free websites because Foundation and Crunchy don't got them. I'm sorry, can't do anything when you don't have it. Would love to pay for the service. Oh, she's a little girl. So she's probably like a genius technician, I think, because that's what she's saying. She's saying something with the G clock. So we're getting like a lot of backstory on this and coming back. This is kind of a confusing series. This one's making the Gundam look like an an like the enemy though. Oh, Tazaku three. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like the Alex either. That's why I'm like, what Gundam is this? I mean, it kind of has resemblance to the Alex. I'm, that's the only one I can think it is. It looks kind of like the Alex, thinking about it. Oh, there comes another Gundam type unit. All right, all right. That was episode two, or part two, I should say, because they're more like little parts. This is going to be part three. I think that Gundam looks familiar, though. It, it, it's I don't think it's exactly a Gundam. It, it looks like a Gundam. It's got a lot of the characteristics of one, but... 
It was in one of the earlier series, if I remember correctly. I just can't remember. I think it was um, MS Teams, maybe? It looks just like it. All I know is that Zaku 3 is doing some damage. Yeah, that's the only th suit I can think of. It's the Alex. Or the NT1, if you want to get really technical and fancy. Okay. Some that guy's somewhat important ish. Why do they have the Gundam tied up like that? Alright, that would be part three. Go with part four. Let's do this. Okay, there we go. That's Lala's machine, isn't it? Wait, does this take place after? This does take place after, because that's Lala. Lala is no longer with us by the end of OG Gundam. And she's a little girl, so she's more of an adult now. Yeah, she's an adult now, so this takes place after, like years after. This is kind of an interesting series, I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't know what's actually going on for a lot of it, but... It just seems like whoever this girl is was important to something, and I just can't remember if, if her name was ever mentioned. This might be shorter than what I thought it was for the series, because I'm already on part four, and... <laughs> I'm only at like 11, 12, 15, well, 12, 12 minutes of recording right now. And of course, the shitty free website, there we go. Yeah, that's what I think. She's an engineer of some kind. Okay. Again, they're showing the Sazabi. Oh, so she, was she in the development of the Sazabi? That's interesting. So she got to grow up as a little girl to become an adult. And she built the Sazabi, probably. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're gonna be on part five or episode five, even though little, they're literally just parts of this. And then which mobile suit is that? Because it looks like we're going through like the times, through 1979's Gundam, and then also through Char's counterattack. So is she trying to get the Sazabi to work again? Yeah, because that was what she was working on. And who is this guy? Like, he's the guy from earlier. He's been in here, but like... What's going on? Oh, that's a fancy thingy. Interesting. It's definitely a Xeon suit with the one eye concept, but... Yeah, 
These are just interesting suit concepts. Ooh, the tail thing was like a. Those are the funnels. Interesting. Alright, that guy seems cray cray. Like, hello, cray cray. Alright, last part. Part six. Let's go ahead and get into this one. I think there's something else for uh, Twilight Axis, which I'll probably do that reaction as well. I just didn't see it on the list of things I was trying to react to. Oh, this one's got a little length on it. This one's about nine minutes it's showing. I take it that's like kind of like an exoskeleton thing, kind of like the GP3 had. And then there's like a Gundam inside of it. Oh, those are his funnels. Dang. I guess it's technically a prototype, probably. Is that That's why she wasn't sure if it was going to work. Yeah, it looks very much like the GP3 did, with like an exo armor kind of thing on top of it. Yeah, they're really making the Gundam seem like a enemy here instead of like the hero. Of course. Shitty free websites. Again, I can't find it anywhere to pay for, so. Well, within a reasonable pay amount, like a membership. So I can watch other things with that membership. They were trying to reuse the Sazelby. Yeah, this is all like extra stuff, but I think this takes place. This is definitely taking place after Charge Counter Attack, in between Charge Counter Attack and Unicorn. Wow. More sadness. Like I said, this is all from Ze or Neil Zeon's standpoint. Making the Gundam seem evil. Or at least that guy seem evil. Yep, I, I was correct. Woo! This is actually intense. Damn. Seven, so she was also a part of experiments, it looks like. There we go, there's something going on. Ooh, what did she do to him? And then she was the only one left. Yep. They went through that cyber new type stuff and brainwashed them, messed with them, did all kinds of things. And then I guess Char was probably an important part of her life. Incredible. It's just incredible that they're telling this whole story in such a short time. Like I said, this is actually quite incredible.
Did he kill her in the end? I guess we'll never find out. Interesting. All right, that's the end of Twilight Axis, I guess. I think there's something else for it. I don't know. I don't think so, but I that was that was nice actually. I uh I, it's amazing how they were able to tell the story in less than like 30 minutes. So, I have to give them props for that. I I'm kind of speechless on this one cuz I don't think it was the best series, but it was still really nice for what they tried to do with it, so Hmm. All right. Well, I guess that's the end of Twilight Access for this for this series unless I see something else, then I'll upload another one, but um that's it for this video. I mean, if you're liking the videos, go and hit that like, subscribe. Um like I said, I got a few more series to come up on and I will get to them and of course with every one of these, please start commenting. What series do you want me to start next after the Universal Century? Do you want me to do C? Do you want me to do Iron Orphans? Do you want me to do Double O? Name the series. I don't know all the Gundam series. I just know a good chunk of them. So, anyway, though, well, that's it for me on this one. Until the next one, I'm out.